And hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 3. I'm your host Nicodemus Kane. And in the last episode, we got to meet Sid. Uh, we got to have a jolly good laugh with Sid too. He was uh, he was a pretty funny little guy. And you last to talk like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> we, we got to take the airship and blow through some boulders. And now we are outside of this, uh, this Kanan, I think it's what it was called. Yes, yes, Kanan. Um, and I also did some leveling uh, after I quit playing, so I am a little higher level than I used to be. Um, I don't remember what we were before I started leveling. But uh, I went ahead and I bought equipment for everybody, and I rebought a lot of stuff that we needed to buy. And, you know, just generally got us back up to where we're supposed to be. So I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing okay. But let's, uh, let's hop in here and see what the hell I'm supposed to do. Turn it back up. I turned it down because I thought it was too low, but now it's or too loud. Now it's too low. Okay, come on. Let's talk to these people. See what the hell's going on here. Uh, rumor has it that there's a gnome village hidden somewhere in the woods south of here. Gnomes? You mean dwarves? Or gnomes? Like garden gnomes? I mean, gnomes are really like, you know, they're like smaller than dwarves, right? They're like smaller than dwarves, but bigger than like elves. Is that right? Are they smaller? No, I don't know. I heard that there's a traveling mage hid... In, wait, I heard that a traveling mage hid a magical healing solution somewhere in this town a long time ago. Um, does that mean I have to look at stuff? Magical healing solution? Oh, so is it just like a potion? Wow, welcome to Mognet, Koopo, our services, yada yada yada, we've already gone through this. Nobody's talking to me. It's, it's like, uh... It's like the real world, you know? It's like... you come home and there's no texts, there's no emails. Oh, the water. What the hell's going on with that water? Ew. <laughs> what the shit? Um, there's a box here. Is there something in a box? Nope, nothing in the box. Alright, so how do I get over there? I have to get in the water. Can I, don't I have a jump button? Or am I thinking of something else? I'm thinking about Mystic Quest. Yeah, 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 I'm thinking about Mystic Quest. So we got a weapon shop here. This place is huge. Look at the size of this building. Watch it be a little tiny place. A little dinky tiny. Yep. <laughs> Just a standard place. Uh, Mithril Rod, which I already have one. Yeah, I have already kind of gone through and uh, bought just about everything we need. Except for iron arrows. Ooh. Um, can I buy, like, 99 of them? I just want to, like, stock up on everything, you know? I don't want to, like, worry that I don't have enough of anything. And I did have some, uh, let me see here. I had some holy arrows that I got from somewhere. And I used them all, unfortunately, by accident. But, hey, man, 22 attack for a black mage? Pfft. Dude, hook me up on that, seriously. I think it'd be like a cool like cross thing that you could do in uh, 14 is to have a uh, black mage that could act as a bard. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Who are you, cutie with the pink hair? Oh, hello. Why, hello there. I'm a dancer. Watch me prance. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. It wasn't so bad. Don't we meet a dancer in, like, every Final Fantasy? I mean, has it... Have we met a dancer in every Final Fantasy? Was there one in the first one? I know there... Because the one girl in the first one was... I don't know. That's a good question. I have no no idea. Um... Oh, Ingus can have a cure. Really? Thunder... Now, of course, we don't, uh... Poison blind. We don't have any of these. They're 700 gil apiece. Ugh. That sucks. Well, we will worry about that later. I love how the uh, the black mage has a dead cow skull in the back. That's pretty neat. It's like my place. Except I have mine on the wall. I know. It is what it is. Uh, who are you? A woman. Arrow is a white magic spell that harnesses the power of wind. To damage the enemy, flying monsters are especially vulnerable to it. Yes, I knew this. Because uh, I've been playing Final Fantasy for like 
<laughs> most of my most of my uh most of my life really <laughs> let's be honest three-fourths of my life has been dedicated to final fantasy why hello there we don't usually get this this many visitors around here i guess there there are four of us so i guess i was gonna say but uh, it's just me why are why are you acting like one guy is and yeah, the last one we had was a young man named dick dash 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 Dash. Okay, well, good for Dash, I guess. Wow, is this say a healing pool? No, it is not. Look at this. Is there stuff in here? Can I? Are there Freemasons in here? I don't know if I could trust this or not. Oh, there's Sid. He said, "What's up?" Mm, Miss Sid's gotten sick while I was away. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it should be fine. If only I could get my hands on a bottle of elixir. Uh huh. I am looking for a bottle of elixir in Mystic Quest. See, I said this in some other video somewhere that eventually they're going to start running over the the playthroughs because I've got four different Final Fantasy games going right now, and they're starting to run over because the first he said elixir, and the first thing I thought was. I'm searching for an elixir, and yes, I am in Mystic Quest. So, is it just... Okay, so it's just the same old thing. Alright, so we need to go hunt for a bottle of elixir. Is there nothing else in here? Is there anything glowing? Nothing. Of course, Sid would be a mason. Sid, you bastard. You dirty, dirty bastard. Alright, uh... What else is going on? What's this? What's this? What? See what kind of armor he's got. Mithril armor, which I, I bought all the mithril stuff that I could buy. So everybody is pretty good for what they can wear. There's only two, two, yeah. I'll have to go uh, go level up some more. Because I was going up to that one cave at the top. I don't know what the hell it was called. And, uh, man, they were giving me a lot of gill. I was actually doing really good. That young lad, Desh, Desh, bought the last mini scroll off me. What does that spell do? It shrinks you to gnomish size. That's what it does. And there just so happens to be some gnomes in some forest that's down south. I wonder if they go together. Dun, dun, dun. Now what's this house? Is this the pool? All right, I'll use it anyways. Nothing happens. It's because I'm full health. What do you expect, man? Can I use this? No, I can't use this. So, well, there's an inn. Maybe there's different people in an inn. Seems like the inns are, are bigger than they look. Like you would think that you would just go into it and, you know, just find a... Just like a small little place. Hold on a second. I got a little pop-up for whatever reason popped up on my computer. And it happens all the time. Every single time I start doing anything, I get a little pop-up. Echo Herbs. I wonder if I should get one of these. Dude, they're like a hundred apiece. I need gold needles. Uh, we learned this in Final Fantasy II. You need gold needles. They're a hundred gill apiece, though. Son of a beach. Um, yes, because petrification sucks. If you want to rest, it'll be 40 gill a night. Uh, no, thank you. I am just fine. I will walk around some more and just not waste my money on you. In here. Uh, ooh. Hey, baby. Can I sleep with you? <laughs> uh oh. Selena. Oh, Dash, my beloved Dash, when will you be back? Why would you go to the mountains in the east where a dragon is said to dwell? Uh, mountains to the east where a dragon, okay. And what would drive you to go to such a place alone? Oh, that sucks. Hey, do you think we should check out this check out this dragon mountain? Definitely. Let's go look for this desh guy and bring him back here. Just because some random chick sleeping on a bed in some house we broke into, or I should say walk into, and we didn't really break into it. We just randomly walked into the house, found some chick laying on a bed. I made a joke about sleeping with her, 
And then she tells us some sob story about some guy that goes and fights a dragon to a mountain in the east. And now we're going to go do it. Final fantasy logic, people. Who are you? Delina. My daughter, Selena. Is it Jolina and Selena? Get it? Joe, so. Has fallen in love with that vagrant Desh. But he didn't stay a fortnight before he left, mumbling about some task he'd promised himself to do. And Selena's been angsty and crying ever since. Oh, I didn't know she was a teenager. Because that's what teenagers do. Oh, look. Da -da -da -da, a tamed mallet. That sounds like something a white mage could use. Let's go check it out. Negative, you dumb asshole. No. Where's that? Well, I got it. So is it just a... I wonder if it's like a usable... Yeah, look. Shrinks and unshrinks target. Mallet. Really? I mean, we're talking like... Like... Silly mallet. How do I get into that room right there? Or can I? See? There's hidden stuff back there. How do I get back in there? Move! Is there a way? Is there like a hidden... Oh, shit! <laughs> There's a hidden passage back here! <laughs> gold needle. Alright, so we did get a gold needle. Okay, good. Damn, that's so crazy, man. There's a hidden passage back here. That's, that's some more uh, Final Fantasy logic for you. Uh, nine times out of ten, if you can see the pathway, but you don't know how to get to it, just start walking into walls. You'll find it eventually. Who's this guy? I heard that a traveling mage hit it magical. Yeah, yeah, we already did that one. All right, so um, we have to go to the east to fight a dragon. I'm hoping to hell that this uh, it's not as bad as I think it's going to be. I mean, we may have to level up. I don't know. I don't know. Let's at least go look. Let's go check it out. Dragon's Peak. It's a flower. I always look at the stuff, it just doesn't look like it's, you know, it looks like it's out of place. Oh, please, God, don't let the enemies on this mountain be, like, way over, over the top for me. Please. Wow. Look at this. This reminds me a little bit of uh, World of Final Fantasy. Even though I never actually got to play it, um, I did see uh, Rust Bird. I did see Angie B play some of it, and it just, that, I don't know, for whatever reason, that just kind of gave me that, that kind of feeling. Ah, Rafia, you suck. Ark is just killing it as a black man. I didn't even kill him? Oh, poop. He is killing it as a black mage. I, you gotta love that stuff. Arrow, that's what they were saying. Arrow will, will kill winged creatures, but there wasn't any arrow to buy, was there? I didn't see any in the magic shop. Maybe that's the point. Maybe we just have to fight them. Oh, God. These are on the ground. Rook. Well, Rook that. Get it? Rook. That, never mind. Well, eight's not bad. They're not killing me right offhand. Oh, Rafia, you suck so bad. I don't even know what to say. I'm about to turn her into, like, a red mage or something. That way we can keep the cure, but at least she'll be fighting. You think it's possible? You think we could do that? Two red mages? Two red mages and a black mage? Oh, that sounds crazy. It'd be nice if I could give her the bow, you know? I do have an extra bow. Could I make her a black mage? I don't want to make her a black mage. That just sounds nuts. Come on. I mean, if I made her a red mage, she'd still have the cure. Which is what I want to keep. I want to keep the cure. But she is worthless as a fighter. So as a white mage, it's just like there's no point really in her being there. Well, see, now we're now we're coming up against uh, an interesting uh, 
an interesting uh, little conundrum here. So everybody got a level plus a job level, right? Yep, cool. Now we're coming up on a conundrum here. Do we want to kill stuff faster, or do we want to heal her? Now see, as a red mage, Ingus only has 8 MP. And if I turn her into a red mage, she will only have 8 MP to cure with. Plus her job level is going to be down at the bottom. See, this is an interesting little conundrum. I'm starting to think that uh, the traditional job roles in this game just do not apply as much as you would want them to, you know? Poop. Let's just suffer through it. Let's just get through it and see what happens. I just... There, there's a part of me that's like, you know what, man? We're, uh... We're playing, you know? Let, let's just play. Let's see what happens. Let's not... Let's not worry about the consequences. Let's just, uh... Try it out. Let's see what's up. She can't really do anything, though. I mean, she really, seriously, just cannot do anything. All she can do is just kind of hit for zeros. I would think that a white mage would be able to use the bow just like the black mage. Wouldn't you think so? I would think that the white mage is made for... Oh my god. It happened. It happened. I knew it was going to happen. Uh, and it did. It happened. Oh, no, I don't want that. Son of a bitch. Man... Okay, this is going to be a problem. This is one of those things where I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, we're going to have to... We're going to have to go make some gill so that we can buy some gold needles, because... Oof. Yeah, that's not good. It's just not good at all. I see too it goes it, it I I have to wonder um, if you can change jobs on the fly if you can level to a certain point with a certain job and then you know like just well as you're walking through the dungeon you can you can be leveling with that job and then uh, once you get to wherever you're going, like when you get to the main boss fight, if you just change over, you know, fight those two fights to be able to reset the thing and then come back to it. I mean, that surely that's a thing, right? That could be kind of cool. Suddenly, that opens up a world of possibilities in this game. Absolutely. It's, I, you know, that's pretty neat. Come on, guys. Kill them. No, I, no, I didn't say to get hit by him. Kill him. Really? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Helldiver. So the other one wasn't a Helldiver, though. What was the other one that we were fighting? So basically, we just, we've just fought, like, every bird. <laughs> <laughs> we fought at least one of every bird in Final Fantasy. Uh, we have not seen a cockatrice yet, though. Cockatrice! Alright, so I know what I'm going to do now. I, I get this now. I have to... Uh, this is this is part of... This is part of leveling in Final Fantasy, is, is figuring out what you have to do and where, how you have to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do as I'm going to turn her into a red mage. Yes. There we go. She looks pretty nice like that. Okay, now I'm going to change her equipment. Uh, I'm going to give her a bow. Because why not? And then I'm going to give her wooden arrows, because that's all I have left. And everybody can pretty much wear the same exact things. Which is kind of interesting. 
But if I do it like that, then I can walk back to the beginning and we can stop. Because I, I know that I know that I started this and then it's like, oh well, now I figured out that I screwed up somewhere along the line. But I have to come back in here and uh, I, I have to level up, I have to get some more money. Or get some more gill, I should say. And then uh, once I do that, I can buy some gold needles. Then we can come back through and try this out. Because honestly, I just kind of get that feeling that if we don't do it that way, we're going to wind up getting screwed over here big time. Because uh, we learned in Final Fantasy 2, once somebody becomes petrified, it, it's just, it's a nightmare. Uh, you know, having to drag along that body and, and not having the extra person to kill, it, it sucks. It absolutely sucks. See how fast that went? That was so nice. So nice. So very nice. So I think I might do that. I think while we're walking through the dungeons, um, we might be one class, unless this works out. Unless, for whatever reason, two, two red mages works out better than, you know, just one white mage and one red mage. Which I think it will. I mean, that's, God, that's a lot of magic. <laughs> that's a lot of magic, and not everybody in the party is... There's, like, no tank in the party, you know? I mean, even though Luneth is a warrior, he's not tanky anything. I don't know, man. It's it's it's, it's very strange. I, this is... This is a... It's, it's, it, it, being able to switch jobs is, is a very unique situation. Let's put it that way. So, I don't know. But let's, uh, let's go back to the front, and I will stop. And I will level up some uh, after I stop. That way, you know, I can I can start getting some more gill again, because gill again, get it? <laughs> but I can start getting some more gill, and uh, I can get us some good stuff, some gold needles, because I got a feeling every single one of these birds has the ability to turn you to stone. They're just not turning us to stone. And that's kind of scaring the crap out of me. Come on. Come on. You can kill him. But this is going a lot better. This is going a lot better. It's going a lot faster. I like this. Almost makes me want to make like a, a whole team of red mages. That'd be insane. But see, I wonder if that's possible, though. Like, like I said, once you get right outside of uh, boss battle... Then you, uh, you know, you change over back over to a white mage if you want to, or change to, change to whatever suits it. Like if it's a if it's an enemy that is totally susceptible to magic, then why don't you just go in there with four black mages? Does that make any sense? Does that make sense to somebody? Can I get a witness? Anyone? Anyone? Anyways, thank you guys very much for coming around and checking it out. This has been Final Fantasy III. This is the PSP version, which I am playing through a PSTV. It's a very cool thing. Uh, if you don't know what it is, uh, Google that and then go buy one because they're a really, really cool thing to have. Uh, I've been Negativus Kane. Uh, like I said, Final Fantasy III. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, or don't. And uh, come back next time, and we will uh, hopefully be leveled up some more. I, I, I will do some leveling. I will definitely do some leveling. Hopefully get enough money to buy uh, some gold needles, and then we will take on this mountain. But other than that, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. Uh, God bless, take care, uh, save often, uh, stock up on gold needles, because you need it when the birds come flying in. You need to go needles. Petrification sucks. Later. <laughs>